Unlike any other programming language, in JavaScript, a function is a special type of value. Okay, and since a function is a value in JavaScript, we can use it like any other value. That means, just like we can assign a value to a variable, we can also assign a function to a variable. And that is called as function expression. So in this lecture, you will learn what is a function expression and what is the difference between a function expression and function declaration. In the last lecture, we learned how to create a function. So for that, we use function keyword followed by a name for the function and then we use a set of parentheses. And inside this, we can specify a list of parameters if we want to. Then we use curly braces. And inside this, we write the body of the function. So here, let's say, we want to log a message. Good morning, user. Welcome back. All right, so this is how we create a function. Right, so this is what we learned in our last lecture. And this syntax is called as function declaration. Or you can also call it as function statement. Now, we learned that a function is a value in JavaScript. So it is also possible to assign a function to a variable. So let's go ahead and create a variable. Let's call it greet. And to this, we want to assign a function. And in order to assign a function to a variable, we use anonymous function. So an anonymous function is a function which does not have a name. And to create an anonymous function, we use function keyword followed by a set of parentheses like this. And then we immediately use curly braces to write the body for that function. So here, if you notice, for this function, we have not specified a name. And since this function does not have a name, it is an anonymous function. Okay, now here, inside these curly braces, we can write the body of the function. So again, let's use this console.log statement. And here, let's say, maybe again, good morning, user. Welcome back. Okay. And this syntax is called as function expression. In a function expression, we assign an anonymous function to a variable. And an anonymous function is a function which does not have a name. Okay, so this syntax is function declaration or function statement. And this syntax where we are assigning an anonymous function to a variable is called as function expression. Now, to call a function declaration, so a function which is created using function declaration syntax, we use the name of that function, right? And on that, we use a set of parentheses to execute it. So if I go ahead and save the changes, you will notice that this function has been executed and it has logged this message. Now here, just to make a difference, let's call it fe for function expression. Okay, so again, let me save the changes and this message has been logged. So this message has been logged by this function. Now to call this function on this function name, we have used a set of parentheses. Now, how can we execute this function? Because this function does not have a name, right? Now, since we are assigning this function to this variable, this variable is going to store the definition of this function. And to prove this, let me go ahead and log this greet variable. So let's say console.log and let's log this greet variable. If I save the changes, you will notice that the definition of this function has been logged here. So that means this greet variable is storing the definition of this function. And that's why to execute this function, you know, the function which is stored in this greet variable, I can simply use a set of parentheses on this greet variable and it will execute that function. So you can see it has executed this function and it has logged this message in the console. All right, so here we are assigning a function to a variable and in order to execute this function, we are using a set of parentheses on this variable to which we have assigned this function. Also, if you notice, 
when we are logging discrete variable here i have not used a set of parentheses because when we use a set of parentheses after this variable name it will simply execute this function right so if i go ahead and save the changes now first since we have used this set of parentheses on this greet variable it will execute this function and it will log this message in the developer console and after that since this function is not returning any value undefined will be returned and that undefined will be logged by this console.log statement so if i go ahead and save the changes you can see first this message has been logged and after that this value undefined has been logged in the console okay so let's remove this set of parentheses from here also remember that a function expression should always end with a semicolon and i will explain you why in a bit all right now since a function is a value in javascript and we are assigning that value to this greet variable it is also possible to copy that value from this greet variable to some other variable for example let's say we have a variable x and to this i am assigning greet and again i am not using parenthesis here so this greet is storing a value and what value it is storing it is storing this function and when we are assigning this greet to this variable x this value you know this function will be copied from greet variable to this variable x that means now this variable x is also storing the definition of this function and that's why if we go ahead and if we use a set of parentheses on this variable x it will also execute this function okay and that's why you will see that this message has been logged again all right so this is about function expression when we write a function expression we assign an anonymous function to a variable and then to execute that anonymous function we use a set of parentheses on the variable name like we are doing here now what is the difference between a function expression and function declaration let's understand that this function declaration is actually a code block okay and that's why we you know it is not mandatory to end a code block with a semicolon on the other hand a function expression is a statement and why it is a statement because here if you notice we are assigning a value to a variable so here we are doing an assignment operation and that's why it is a statement okay and we have learned that a statement must end with a semicolon and that's why i said that a function expression should always end with a semicolon okay so the first difference is function declaration is a code block on the other hand a function expression is a statement and the second difference is we can call a function declaration before it is declared or before it is created but that is not possible with function expression so for example here we are declaring this greetings function using function declaration syntax and then we are calling this function but since we have created this greetings function using function declaration syntax it is also possible to call this function before it is declared like this and if i go ahead and save the changes you will see that we don't have any error and the message you know the message which we are logging from this greetings function is also logged in the developer console all right but this is not possible with function expression so if i try to call this function this greet function before it is declared let's see what happens if i save the changes you will notice that we have an error cannot access greet before initialization so using a function expression before it is created is not possible but using a function declaration before it is created is possible so this is another difference and we can use a function declaration before it is created is because of something called as hoisting in javascript and we will learn about hoisting in great detail in our coming lectures okay but remember that hoisting is not possible with function expression so here we have commented this code or let me just cut it from here 
and call it after we have created this function. If I save the changes, the error should be gone and everything should be working. So this is what a function expression is. Now the next question is whether you should use a function declaration to create a function or you can use a function expression. Well, the answer is you can use any one of them. Okay, it's up to you. But if you want to use a function before it is declared for some reason, then you will have to create that function using function declaration syntax. Otherwise, you can either use function declaration or function expression. It's up to you. Alright, so this is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.